all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayi, and this is The Daily Shayi. On this channel, I share fashion style and videos, fashion hauls, along with some life and beauty tips. So if any of that is right up your alley, then please feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. So in today's video, I am sharing with y'all nine fall appropriate looks. Consider this a part one lookbook of sorts because I didn't want to make the video too long. And I'm definitely considering doing a part two because I did want to share with you guys how you can kind of remix different pieces in your wardrobe to kind of make a completely different outfit without necessarily always having to like add new things to your wardrobe. A lot of these pieces are things that I've had, you know, for like the last two years or last year. So I'm not just doing an overhaul and adding completely new pieces into my wardrobe. So if you would like to see me put together nine fall appropriate looks then just continue watching. <music> look number one and I like to classify my style as a mix of like chic preppy and edgy and I feel like this look embodies all of those elements we have the preppy with the sweater vest we have the chic with the oversized shirt dress and we have the edgy with my Doc Martin J Don I am obsessed with these boots I love them so much and decided to accessorize with my coach tabby and I have this handle here that I actually got from Amazon because I just wanted to be able to switch out handles on different bags that I can do that on. And I like this one, it is a matte black. So I think that adds a nice little element. But yeah, I like the mixing of the whites. I know people don't normally like to do that, but I think it can be done properly. You just gotta know how. And I think that this is a nice little take on the look. So this is look one. <music> I kept the long sleeve oversized shirt dress and I just added on top this oversized scarf that I got from Coach and I featured it in my latest mini Coach haul. And I decided to just kind of go with the brown tones because I feel like the pink and the magenta just work with brown a little better. So I just added this brown belt. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot where I got it from. I feel like I got it from Target. My Gucci horse bit top handle bag and then these boots from Steve Madden that I am obsessed with. I absolutely love this color. This is very much like a super fall outfit. I wouldn't necessarily classify it as winter just yet, just because the shirt dress that I'm wearing, but definitely fall. Baby. I kept the boots and I switched out the rest of the outfit. <laughs> I am wearing this mini plaid skirt that I got from Lulu's last year. I love it so much because it works with just a variety of different looks. And then also this sort of like off the shoulder flappy sort of knit top sweater from Zara, also from last year. And then my coach tabby because there's some cream in this skirt and I wanted to bring it out in the bag. Also, the brown in the skirt is also matching the brown in these boots. But yeah, this is very much a very preppy, kind of giving clueless vibes, but I love it. Definitely works for me. So this is look number three.
So look for completely changed every aspect of the outfit, but still kept it with a skirt look. So I have this pleated skirt, brown pleather skirt that I got from Zara, I believe either last year or the year before. And I really like it. It's one of those pieces that I know I'm gonna have for a while. And it just like a nice little button down with some gold detailing right there. Then I have this houndstooth cardigan that I am obsessed with. This one is from Aqua and it was around $90 and I got it on sale on Bloomingdale's. They had like a friends and family discount. So it came out to like $65 at the end of the day, which was great. And it has like these really nice cute detailing with pearls. I think that is so cute. And just adds that kind of like, you know, sophisticated classy look. Then I just tied this belt around it that has kind of like this gold detailing. This belt is from Target. Bag is Walmart, yes good old Walmart and my shoes are from H&M and I feel like I just love this kind of horse bit detailing but yeah again another preppy look are we surprised we should not be but really liking this one five going the more casual route and decided to go with basically all black i kept the cardigan blazer because i just really love it and i felt that it pulled this look together the tank is a strappy one that i got from in a katie fashion i featured it on here a couple of times and these pants are joggers they're sort of like this wax denim i don't know if you can really tell in the mirror but they're sort of this wax denim soft denim joggers that I got NPR from Hudson Jeans, so thanks so much Hudson Jeans for sending these over. They are extremely comfortable and I think that they add like a nice little flair to, you know, your traditional jogger look. Decided to go with my handy dandy Zara booties that I have consistently worn for the last like three years. I love these, not giving these up until they finally, you know, give out on me. And then I have my Croc Effect Princess Polly bag. Also really like this hand shoulder bag. But yeah, I think that this is like a nice little, you know, look when you just want to put something together. Not too much, doesn't require too much effort, but still looks like you did a little something something. Look number five. six and i decided to keep that nakd tank on and i draped over this oversized blazer from h m the jeans are from zara and they are now back in stock i really love the ripped knees that's really kind of what sets this apart and of course the sort of like raw hem detailing on the bottom i kept that belt from i believe look four because i just again just really like this gold detailing and it's really these shoes that i am obsessed with they are a pointed toe chain detail stiletto style sling back and these are from zara as well honestly zara does a really good job with their shoes i gotta give them that they really do and then i kept the princess poly bag from the last look but yeah this is one of the looks that i feel my most comfortable in i would say like if i really have absolutely no idea what i want to wear and i just want to look cute and chic this is a look i'll put together love this one this is look number six
7, we are bringing back a little bit of that preppy, kind of edgy, chic. So kept the blazer and I went with this kind of mock neck, turtleneck that is from Zara. Got her for last year. This skirt is actually Amber Crombie. It's a really cute kind of like pleated skirt and it has some brown detailing. Boots are Jeffrey Campbell. I was looking exactly for boots like this and I found them at Nordstrom. Went with my Gucci, you know, top handle horse bit, but I did it with the crossbody strap just to kind of switch it up a little bit. But yeah, this is again, very much a me look. Very preppy, but I really do like it. This is look number seven. So look eight, I kept the skirt and the boots from look seven, but I added on this brown belt from a few looks ago and then this button down cream cardigan sweater situation that I got from Zara about two years ago. And then I have my Coach Phil Toe 22, the mini in the candy multi pink. I am obsessed with this bag. I just love the different pink shades and I feel like, like I mentioned in look two, that brown and pink go really well together. And I feel like this skirt, I don't know, for some reason is giving me hints of like super deep plum magenta, like very, very faint. I could be wrong, but I feel like this bag sort of just brings out the brownish color a little bit more. And then for my headband, it's actually that bag scarf that I mentioned that I also got in my coach mini haul. I literally just wrapped it around a regular old headband and I got this cute little situation. So yeah, I am loving this look. It's look number eight. probably like how was this fall well it's fall to me you know a little color never hurt nobody a little short action never hurt nobody i live in la so i can definitely get away with this right now i'm in love with these shorts these are from a brand called kai collective they are a woman-owned nigerian owned uk based brand i featured them in a video i'll link it here about like fall trends and the top is a classic white button down top that i picked up from zappos and my Jacques Mou white bag. And I know it's like white after fall, but yes, absolutely. And these heels that I picked up from DSW, they are from Mark Fisher. And I didn't even realize that like the base of the heel was this purple that matched perfectly with these purple shorts. I did not realize it, but here we have it. This is such a cute look. I feel like this is something that I would obviously wear like more nighttime going to an event and just wanted to kind of look put together and look cute. Absolutely love this look. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. I really had a good time putting these looks together. Let me know which one you liked in the comments and I hope that you enjoyed the video. As always, I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time, bye.